Hello guys, this is a new video. This is about M40 helmets and these two are both what they call reissue helmets. One is uh, what they would call a field reissue helmet and the other one is a factory issue. Um, is there anything you'd like to say about the helmets, Alex, before we carry on? I'd like to talk about the decals. Oh, okay, yeah. What about the decals? What would you like to say? So you can tell this one's a more silver, but this one's a um, gold. But it's not, doesn't mean it looks it's... more of a yellow, sort of oxidised, doesn't it, over the time? Yeah. yeah. It's common for army decals to do that. I mean, they're not, it's not a creamy one. It's just been, it's got oxidisation, basically. It's gone a bit more of a yellow colour. Yeah? Anything else you want to say? Yeah. Um, you can, these are um, M40s, you can tell, by it's still got the rolled edge from the M35, mm -hmm. it's just the vents are actually moulded into the helmets. Yes, yeah, that's right, you've still got the moulded vents, haven't we? So we'll, we'll talk about this one first. So this is um, what we call like a field reissue. We say that it doesn't mean it has been reissued, it's just a collector's term, basically. Uh, it means it's been repainted at some point during the war. Um, as you can see, it's been given like a, a darker coat of paint. Uh, this is mainly because... It, the, the original coat of paint, which you'll see on the inside, which has still got the original coat of paint, is a bit too shiny, and obviously in combat you don't want to, you don't want that. So um, they, I mean, also as well, they were picked up from the battlefield sometimes and uh, given a coat of paint and given back out again, and sometimes put a new liner in them. But this is what we call a field reissue one. So we turn that round for us, Alex. Have a look at the other side. Okay, yep, thank you. Very nice. Yeah, as you can see, obviously it's uh, just single decal for the M40s. I mean, um, with M40s, obviously the army ones, Luftwaffe, Kriegsmarine, by this stage were now all single decal. Um, you still have, they still produce double decals in um, field police helmets. They still had uh, 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 double decal helmets, almost right up to the end, to be honest with you. Um, let's have a look at the inside, Alex. Right, this is uh, the inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see what I mean, the paint was quite shiny originally, so you can see why they decided to over give it an overpaint. Um, the line on this one is well worn. I mean, it's obviously it's uh, broken in places. But also, again, a collector in the past has decided to put some sort of treatment on it, and I think it's I think it's rotted it more than actually helped the leather, to be honest with you. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's quite a nice helmet still. Okay, put it down, Alex. At least the um, liner band itself is the original to the helmet. Okay, thank you very much. Right, we'll have a look at the factory reissue. This is what we call a factory reissue helmet. And basically all that means is it's been taken away from the battlefield and, and being given a go of like new paint inside and out, had a brand new liner put in it, a new chin strap, etc. But this one has never been issued afterwards. I think it's just it's been done and just sat in the factory. It's been picked up obviously by uh, by a veteran, you know, like by a soldier at the end of the war and just and just brought home um out straight out of the factory because it's got no wear on it at all, basically. Um, let's have a look at the inside of this one, Alex, please. Right. That's it, just hold it with both hands for us. Yeah, as you can see, it's got like, I mean, the liner is, um, interestingly enough, is actually uh, an aluminium liner, but it's, uh, it's a really early one, um, you know, and it's, it's completely unused. Yeah, very nice. The chin strap's a, the chin strap's a later war one, but again, it's, it's, it hasn't been worn at all, you can see. There's no wear on the helmet at all. Just obviously the odd knock here, there from storage, obviously, and, you know, being in someone's shed, etc. after the war. Okay, thank you very much, Alex. So, yep, that was our latest video on uh, two M40 reissue helmets. Um, anything you'd like to say, Alex, before we go? Yeah, um... So don't so remember to like, subscribe, and if you want us to look at anything more close in more detail, yeah, we can do it quite easily do that, can't we? Just tell us in the comments. Yeah, leave a comment for us. Okay, right, thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you again next time. Right, well, bye bye, hope bye. you enjoyed. Bye.